one last uh, question about broadcasting and and having a uh, a partner like you have in Tony Romo. And I, I just remember when Romo uh, joined CBS and was going to join you in the booth. A lot of people were wondering how good he would be at it because the Romo that we saw deal with the Dallas media was the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys dealing with the Dallas media, which is don't say much, don't give him anything, and realize that some people are coming at you with with uh, some questions that you might not like. And, and everybody thought, like, that would be the Romo to show up next to you. And then a dynamic announcer with a goofy side and a funny side showed up. Now, I think a lot of people are subscribing a similar thing to Brady. Um, and I, I figured I'd, I'd ask you what you think the challenges are for Tom Brady as somebody who's seen him uh, in many a pre-production meeting, perhaps be uh, somebody other than the Brady that the rest of the public gets to see. And your two cents on Tom Brady getting ready to um, take a significant role in the broadcasting business when he's ready. Uh, first off, I know Tom really well. He's a friend, and I've done over 100 of his games, more than anybody by about 40-something games, I believe. Al will be somewhere in the 60-something number of games. only know this because the Boston Globe wrote about it a year ago. But uh, he'll be very well prepared. That that, that goes without saying. Uh, his analytical brain, when you sit in a production meeting and you hear what it is that's going on in his mind and what he sees, uh, I, I know he's going to be able to articulate that. I think he'll be very good. Uh, I don't have any question about it. I did not think this was something that he would want to do at the end of his career, interestingly. I, I, I didn't see it coming. I thought that... Um, when the playing days were over, he, he, you know, he might want to get involved in some sort of, you um, know, film production and some behind the scenes things like that. But uh, I, I'm thrilled that he's going to have a voice in the sport. And I think what's happened here recently is that everyone's realized that that platform, being an, a lead analyst on one of the very few, you know, handful of packages in the NFL, it's a big deal, and you are extremely relevant. If people are listening to everything you say, and Tom will be up to the challenge. There's no question about it. Yeah, and plus he's got, I mean, what a wealth of, <laughs> of experience and, uh, and knowledge that he can, he can communicate. And I guess that's the issue is, is how to communicate it and when to communicate it. And Romo seemed to step right into that role with you. Um, and you still know, I, I've said this, and I, I know who they are, but in that summer of 2017, as we were – working practice games together, including three preseason games on site, and no one was being exposed to the to the video, the tapings that were being shipped back to the headquarters in New York. Those were guarded very carefully. We wanted his debut to be a real debut without anybody pirating anything that we were working on, practicing and rehearsing. And, and then we did other games inside of a studio, just calling games off of a screen and trying to simulate it to be as real as possible. I never had a doubt that he would be an absolute genius at this. Um, I had a friendship with Tony that went back many years before the arranged marriage by CBS to put us in the booth together. <laughs> um, he, he uh, I'd had uh, the pleasure of his company many times, off-site at golf events or uh, at dinners or a Final Four or playing in the tournament in Pebble Beach, and there was a friendship there. And I, I just knew the way Tony expressed himself, that he would be a natural. Now, as this all evolves over the summer of 17, I had a lot of uh, folks in the media who would call me up and say, how's he going to be? And I said, listen, you can be on the right side of history if you want. I guarantee you he is going to be a star. Now, if you want to hedge it because you don't believe it, because you have some other vision of him, what he's going to sound like or be like, then, hey, that's up to you. But if you want to be on the right side of history, I'm going to tell you right now, the guy's going to be in time. He might be the best that's ever done this. So I know it. I've only got 30 years of experience. So you can go with your hunch or you can go with my hunch. So it's up to you. If you want to write with a lot of doubt, well, that's, you know, that, that, that's, that's your prerogative. But if, if you if you really want to take, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I am. I'm, you got to listen to me. I am telling you the truth. He is going to be absolutely great at this from the first game. And I got to tell you, not one person took me up on that. Oh. Not one. <laughs> not one. Not one. I know who they are, and <laughs> you know they 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 hedged and they jumped on board really fast. 
<laughs> you know, for their expert analysis on it. But going into it, I, I I had the inside track. I knew it before we even did a practice game. He was going to be a genius at it. So, um, <laughs> and he did a lot of work, though, to understand the mechanics of it, the ins and outs, and how broadcasting works, and all that. And I'm extremely proud of him. Um, I love working with him. And you know what the amazing thing is, Rich? We're going to year six. Mm. We are now the most tenured booth. That's right. For the lead broadcast in the NFL. That is we're incredible. Not, we're, we're, we're not the newbies. We're, we're the oldies. You're the, you're the, old, you're the OGs. Five years of experience now is the most tenured booth at each network's right. number one team. So, um, you know what? We're going to do this for a long time, too. We're and going I, to be together for I, many years and. We're, we're in place to do what we want to do and try to make our own mark. And we wish everybody well. I, 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 I know people trying to make this a competitive thing, but you know we got our own games to worry about and things like that. We're all really trying to present the NFL in the best possible light. So, you know, other broadcast teams. You know my friendships that are out there with other guys that are in lead roles. These are like lifetime, special, real friendships. I don't pull against anybody i'm not trying to outsmart outdo this we just want to be the best we can be and uh, i just like our situation of having the chance to go work 21 weeks a year together having fun conversing uh looking at one another face to face i've never broadcast like this before it's the way tony likes to do it sure the field is 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 right below us but when we're actually talking to on the air, our comments, we're actually making eye contact. We're not looking down at the field without making eye contact. We're looking and angled at each other. And I think that's part of a little secret sauce, if you will. Most of the time, you kind of always have your eyes on the field. We have our eyes and our sight line, Rich. We have a whole row of, like, five monitors. So I can look at Tony, and I can see a shot change just looking just off a little bit past his eye line. Same thing for him. He's angled at a 45-degree angle, and he can still see what's going on. Now, when the play starts, we turn our attention to the field. Mm-hmm. When the play is, we're looking at each other. Very, It's unique. It's a blast. I'm just uh, I'm just happy that the NFL is, is such a fun part of my life these days, and Tony is a giant reason why. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.